Hey, I'm Val. I'm here to show you how to use Dioxirin's mouthwash with Dioxicare, our active chlorine dioxide system. Everything you need is in the box. You're going to remove the pumps and then the cup and then the bottles. We suggest that you keep the bottles shrink wrapped together. Then you're going to remove the cap and there's a tamper evidence seal that you're gonna pull off. These seals are super strong and sometimes hard to get off. So another option is to use a toothbrush and to just poke right through there and make a nice wide opening. Set the pump, screw that down. Then remove the other one. Now, I'm going to use this again. Now, just something to be aware of, if you're going to use the toothbrush to poke through both bottles, please make sure to rinse the bottom of that toothbrush first because you don't want to get any of that one part into the other bottle or it will start the chlorine dioxide reaction in the bottle and you don't want that to happen. Pumps lock and unlock by turning right and left, with unlock being in the counterclockwise position. You want to end up with the pumps facing forward to make it easier for you, and you might need to loosen the pumps and to, to and, and retighten it to realign those to make them face forward. Then you're going to prime the pumps by pressing the pumps once or twice to get the product flowing. This is important because you're going to be using the pumps to dose the product, so you want the product to be flowing freely. To use dioxyrins, you're going to pump an equal number of pumps of part A and part B into the cup. We recommend three full pumps of each part. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now the chlorine dioxide is starting to generate. You're going to let this mix for about 30 seconds, and then you're going to swish all around your mouth and through your teeth and end up at the back of your throat and then spit out. And I will give you a, just a short demonstration. And that's it. One last thing to know is that the concentration of chlorine dioxide is going to continue increasing the longer that the mixture sits. It reaches a peak at about 10 minutes. And you'll be able to tell this because the color is gonna change. The mixture color is gonna change. So if you see, if I make a fresh mixture, and it's this bright blue, and after about three minutes or so, it's gonna turn a light green. And then after about 10 minutes, it's a bright yellow. We have recommendations on the side of the box for different mixing times, depending on what you're trying to treat. But for daily general use, 30 seconds is all you need. So happy rinsing and remember that the magic is in the mix.